one. Hello once again, everyone. I'm your host, Ray Shasho. Welcome to another edition of Interviewing the Legends, brought to you by the Rockstar Chronicles. My new book featuring over 45 intimate conversations with the greatest music legends the world will ever know. Available now at bookbaby.com and amazon.com. On September 24th, the new Mandoki Soulmates visual album, Utopia for Realists, was released worldwide simultaneously in multiple formats on Sony's Inside Out label. As a media book, the visual album presents a completely new audio visual work. It fuses the concert film of their epic prog rock suite, Hungarian Pictures, with Mandoki Soulmates, performed to commemorate the 30th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall, with top class animated paintings and atmospherically condensed shots of the Hungarian landscapes merged with film scenes of the recording sessions in the studio. The media book comes with Blu-ray, audio, CD, and deluxe booklet set, final LP with large format booklet set, including also CD and audio CD with booklet. The Mandoki Soulmates, once described by the late soulmate Greg Lake of Emerson Lake and Palmer, is one of the best bands in the world, also announced upcoming concert dates. Under the banner, Utopia for Realists, more than 30,000 people celebrated on August 21st of 2021 in Budapest, the return to the stage of the Mandogi Soulmates and their album release concert. This was the legendary band first post-pandemic performance since playing the Berlin Concert Hall in November of 2019. Mandoki has made it his mission to fuse progressive rock with jazz rock, and to bring it back to social and political relevance. Uh, he observes in the 30th year of the Mandoki Soulmates existence, the success of our online concert shows uh, shows us how deeply people are touched by our unifying message. We will only overcome our global challenges, uh, the pandemic, financial and economic crisis, migration and integration and climate change, if we overcome the divisions across uh, borders. Therefore, as a common struggle for a better world, young and old rebels, we must be louder than ever before. The soundtrack is Utopia for Realists, running together through a tunnel to escape communism for freedom tends to take for long bonds. For Leslie Mandoki and, and Gabor Supo, these bonds have now come to fruition in ways that are all the things that dreams are made out of. Please welcome singer, drummer, record producer, and founder of Mandoki Soulmates, Leslie Mandoki, to interviewing the legends. Hello, Leslie. Ah, oh, thank you for having me. A, a big hi, a big hello to Florida from the Lake Stromberg nearby Munich. So I'm sitting here in my studio. You're sitting in yours, and thank you for uh, so much for your great introduction. And I was really enjoying to listen in your words, uh, the description of our album, I must say, right on, you were just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, you understood uh, exactly what it's all about uh, uh, by heart. And uh, thank you so much, uh, because for me it's always a great uh, uh, honor and a absolutely greatest possible privilege to, to uh, that you're allowing me in, in the heart and soul of your audience to your listeners. So thank you for having me tonight. You're very welcome. I love the album, five stars all the way. It's got an incredible lineup of all-star musicians. Uh, some of the tracks on, on the uh, album sound like albums in itself, <laughs> like Tran Transylvanian dances for, you know, for, for one. Um, it's, it's, an, it's incredible. I don't know how you put that track together. How did you put that track together? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so, uh, you know, this track leads back to the history of that album, how, how it was really born. Right. Uh, it was uh, about 18 years ago. Uh, mm -hmm. We played a show called 50 Years of Rock. Okay. It's also in the Guinness Book to Records because the, it was 40 million uh, TV viewers saw it Saturday night and wow. public television in Germany. And the lineup was Peter Frampton on guitar, Greg mm -hmm. Lake on guitar, Jack Bruce on bass, 
uh, John Lord on Hammond, uh, um, Manfred Mann on synthesizer, uh, Ian Anderson was with us singing and, uh, on, on flute, and Bobby Kimball was singing, uh, Chris Thompson was singing, and I played the drums. So, and during the rehearsals, uh, actually John Lord of the Purple and Greg Lake of Amazon Lake and Palmer came up to me and said, hey, I said, you were born in Budapest. I mean, what is your relation to Bela Bartok, the first rock musician ever <laughs> on this planet? And I said, you, I know why you say that he was the first rock musician because New York Times wrote, uh, um, uh, as he was playing Carnegie Hall, that he is a barbarian because uh, he is hammering the piano mm -hmm. uh, uh, like rock. And, and yeah, of course, Jim Hendrick was referring to him, and uh, Miles Davis was referring to him, Charlie Parker, John Coltrane, that's why. So I answered to Greg Lick and John Lord. I know why you were uh, uh, thinking that he's the, he was the first rock composer, and he's also. Um, with this wonderful hanging and pictures, which, which is based on, on a collection of folk songs. Mm -hmm. So uh, it turns out the rock history uh, are legendary, and you are the right uh, person to talk to <laughs> about that. That Greg Lake is telling us uh, that uh, Amazon Lake Palmer was not uh, having the intention to do um, pictures of an exhibition, they mm -hmm. wanted to do Hungarian pictures, but they couldn't get the rights. Uh, and he, his question was, let's see, as a Hungarian origin, can you get those right? <laughs> so as I, and I said, of course, I try my best. And of course, I have a deep emotional relation to Bela Bartok. And uh, I was quoting that Chick Corea about it and, and so on. So uh, made long story short, after all these very successful shows and a number one album, uh, uh, three, week late, uh, three weeks later, we met John Lord and Greg Lake mm -hmm. and myself in London. And we sat down to the piano and we, this is the answer to your question. We created that what you are listening now. Uh, and basically just on, on, on paper uh, at the piano. And I couldn't get the right either. So we couldn't do that project uh, back then. And very, very sadly, very unfortunately, Greg Lake and, and uh, John Lott passed away with like, mm -hmm. the cancer. And, uh, but now as we were just gathering and, and, and uh, uh, again, because I was writing all the new songs, mm -hmm. uh, I was pulling out uh, of the files, of the analog files, this um, sheet. And, 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 uh, and we were sitting down with uh, Corey Henry and uh, Richard Bona and uh, Eddie Mola and Mike Stern and all the rest of the gang, Randy Bracker and uh, Bill Evans and so on. And, and we just said, okay, we, we, we give a shot. Uh, we kiss this alive. And um, and now because uh, Bill Abadog is for thirty years, uh, uh, seventy years uh, dead, so the, the uh, rights are free. So we we we, we could do the work, and then and we wrote a lot of things to add to that. Mm -hmm. So make really uh, very a rock uh, uh, piece, and uh, and this is how, how finally here in the studio turned out as it is as you hear it right now. It's amazing. I mean, Transylvanian dances is very intricate. And there are many pieces to that song. You know, you hear horns, violin, um, you hear the European sound, the Hungarian sound, Arabic. I heard some Arabic in that. Uh, what are some of the string instruments in that song? Is there an oud? Is there yeah. an oud in that? Yeah, that's what, what you hear uh, leads back to the... Uh, original atmosphere of mm -hmm. the recording of Bela Bartok. And, 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 and times as he was do, doing these sketches, how he called it, uh, the only way to record something was on wire. Okay. We cannot imagine how it worked, but that, that was the before tape recording was established. Right. Uh, you could <laughs> record. And the reason why you are guessing this, uh, Arabic influences, mm -hmm because he was uh, recording this uh, folk songs and this melodies um, in Transylvania. And this is the only place on earth uh, you could do that in that way because there are, were villages, uh, Hungarian uh, Catholic villages, mm -hmm. uh, German uh, villages, they were mostly Evangelican mm -hmm. uh, refugees. They came out of Germany uh, and they, they were hiding there in these mountains, uh, mountain villages, right. and they were Jewish villages. Mm -hmm. 
uh, um, and and the gypsy uh, bands were uh, kind of touring uh, the holidays of, of those three different villages. They were in harmony and peace. All everybody in this mountain area of Transylvania and Bela Bartok, uh was had a great fear about fascism, and he th thought music got the power against mm -hmm. uh, sure. the evil of fascism. So he was recording a wire this, the, uh, with the gypsy bands, this Jewish, this, this uh, Evangelicans uh, uh, chants mm -hmm. uh, and, and then a Hungarian chants and, and dances. Uh, and, uh, and then he, he actually made, worked this out in, in New York. Mm -hmm. And then, then uh, coming, um, being a, a, a Hungarian guy, uh, escaping fascism, uh, uh, of the German, German mm -hmm. uh, Wehrmacht was occupying Hungary. Uh, he was so much imp inspired by uh, by Harlem and, and the jazz clubs. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, uh, and so he fused the soul. Uh, uh, and and, and then the, he had a, a kind of a residential in the Carnegie Hall in New York because, <laughs> because he was the first fusion composer when when wow. you like that word and and he was hammering the uh, that's why they call the barbarian but yeah. of the barbarian because he was a rock musician so jimmy hendrix was right that he was the first rock muser <laughs> uh, and uh, that's why you hear you you hear this all uh influences uh and and, and this music and and we we try to uh, you know for my Point of view is the the music is is as important as it was in the end of sixties beginning of seventies. Uh, so so sure. some, sometimes uh, it's a society in in some um, um, crossroads mm -hmm. where where music is the answer. The music is the greatest unifier. And as it was for Bela Bartok, uh, as it was for Woodstock and and for the great rock rock bands, right. Uh, uh, you know that, and now it, I, I, we all feel that the, that our society of uh, is facing challenges as a tremendous, sure. and uh, and this this album should be uh, the soundtrack of the answer. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's beautiful, man! I I love it. You got a couple of tracks there which I would have put. I was a top forty DJ back in the late seventies, so there's two I would classify. They're that they could be that popular. Top 40 was still like it was back in the day. Um, first of all, Return to Budapest, which has Ian on the track, right? And they, David Clayton Thomas. That was yeah. a very uplifting tune, especially the beginning of this song. It's 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 incredible. Um I, I call it the ending of the song kind of slows down and sounds like a Gino Vanelli tune. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one the torch the official single of the album that's another one that could be a top 40 tune i i think that the torch, torch is also uh giving this mood what we have, mm -hmm. what I have in america right now right you know, this that's is on a, the torch a, yeah yeah this is a, a yeah you know, a pandemic is not the greatest challenge. I think the greatest challenge is the division of the society. Yeah, I agree. Uh, um, this is much greater. Uh, and um, and music is the greatest unifier. And the torch is is, is actually the soundtrack for that. Uh, to say, hey, uh, uh, the old rebels and the young rebels, only together we can uh, overcome sure. this and face successfully these challenges where we are. Ben, you, you went through a lot. I, my... Uh... My mom's family was from Cuba. Mm -hmm. My grandmother left Cuba with just uh, with nothing. They took everything away from her. She was a gynecologist. She had a couple of properties. She lost everything when Fidel took over. My dad's family, they're, they're Jewish and they're from Syria. So I understand where you're coming from. They had a hard, my family had a hard time back in the day. Too. <laughs> but what you went through, man, it's amazing. And, and you've been jailed multiple times for speaking your mind, basically, right? 
Yeah, because uh, the charge was that I'm I'm, uh, I'm poisoned by the American uh, 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 understanding of individual it's our freedom. Fault. <laughs> yeah, you know, so uh, so because uh, and uh, I would like and and the second charge was that I would like to poison the mind of the other students uh, with this American understanding of freedom. Uh, uh, Unbelievable. Uh, uh, and the way as I was trying to do that was uh, via prog rock music. So. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> so, so, um, and uh, because pro rock, uh, and uh, you know, as it's as it's kind of uh, facing the uh, the uh, history of your family and facing my uh, history, yeah, you know, maybe it helps a lot to understand what Miha Gorbachev was saying to this. I was referring to that uh, fifty years of rock show uh, on the day, and you know, as as the uh, for the network, the boss was calling me about. Three weeks before that show, you know, where Peter Frampton mm -hmm. and guitar, and so as, as I mentioned, the lineup, and he was asking me, he said, Leslie, uh, uh, I really sure this is I mean, prime time Saturday evening. I mean, this is not rock music on a on a on a <laughs> public <laughs> network, you know. So it's 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 it's, it's really a risky thing, you know. Mm -hmm. I really sure that you don't really want to have another top superstar, right? Actually, basically everybody's a prog rock. Uh, yeah. um, and 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 you know it, it, he was not mentioning any names but you know the, uh, you could hear it uh, madonna or bruce springs or anything i uh, yeah that was i was not saying that but you know that was the feel of it and and i said no i'm absolutely fine I, i'm absolutely positive yeah but you know this is this is everybody's prog rock mm -hmm. i said yeah but this is meaningful i mean that, that means exactly. a, a, a lot of the, and then he was about repeating the, his question about three times and pointing. I said, "Are you really sure that you don't want to point out a name?" Where he said, "You know what I said, Mikhail Sagevich Gorbachev, the former president of Serbia." He said, "What?" <laughs> I said, "Well, you know, when we go to a prog rock uh, and the Saturday night, and he walks on stage, and we are uh, televising live from a venue of eighteen thousand people, mm -hmm. and Mikhail Gorbachev was saying." Prog rock was the soundtrack of the enemy. The prog rock was the soundtrack <laughs> of freedom. That's uh, right. Then you know, eighteen thousand people are gonna you know stand up and 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 I mean, when Bob Garbage was saying, Mister Ian Anderson, Jetta was the soundtrack of freedom, and uh, to prove that glasses and prayer story, because I really wanted to make a change, mm -hmm. uh, I had the first step to prove that I was allowing the state-owned record company to release uh, Aqualung. So, uh, so this I said to the uh, boss of the network, let's give this depth, this this weight uh, to prog rock, uh, um, uh, you know. And he was he was said, okay. Let's be doing it. So I called Miha Garbachev, uh, and he came really? to the show, and he was the greatest rock star on that evening. <laughs> uh, and, and I have countless great photos with Ian Anderson and John Lord with all the other folks and the friend with him. And, and talking and he was telling yes you guys were creating the soundtrack of the enemy of the american british kind of or anglo-saxon what how he said mm -hmm. uh, uh freedom and uh and 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 you know we knew if if you guys are succeeding then we're gonna fail and yeah and and yes uh, they felt uh, mm -hmm. and uh, because uh uh Unfortunately, not in North Korea and not in Cuba yet, but yeah. everywhere else, uh, uh, they're just gone. And and the torturing and the killing and uh, and uh, the censorship and and, and yeah. the spying the people, you know, it's just over. And um, so that, that that this is the story behind the story. That uh, and that's why I say uh, again, here we are. We're living in the news bubble and the echo chamber of social media, right. uh, of the social pornographic era, where the attention spam is uh, getting down to two seconds. Uh, uh, <laughs> and I wanted to create a piece of music, mm -hmm. which is rather a handwritten love letter to our audience and not a text message. Yep. Well, all I can say is, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger became governor of California. Why can't you become president of the United States? <laughs> I'll vote for you. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. So uh, this is about about you know the challenges that we have, and and that's why I say uh, we have to turn the wind, and yeah. uh, we can only turn the wind together, uh, the young rebels and the old rebels. Uh, we that's have the experience. We 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 pulled down the iron curtain, uh, yeah. but from then on we made a couple of mistakes. Yep. 
environmentally, socially. Mm. We invented casino capitalism, which is a uh, most evil uh, 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 thing because it's not about fundamental values. Uh, um, because I would like to uh, see you as a multimillionaire when you, because you were funding the greatest rock station uh, uh, of the United <laughs> States, but I don't want to see you as a millionaire because you were just betting on a of yeah. the fall of that, you know. Yeah. So, that, yeah. so, so don't gamble. It's not a casino. Let's let's get back to creative capitalism right. where we build something. I agree. Uh, I agree. And, and 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 we we kind of uh, human. So let's get away from greediness and again mm -hmm. let's get back to humanity. Sure. Uh, that that's what it's all about. This is yep. a utopia for realists. This is about this album. Exactly. Actually, the soundtrack for a hundred eighty degree turnaround. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, is, is, uh, let's wake up. That's that, that's why the songs are called like that. Wake up and torch and turn the wind <laughs> and young rebels, and old rebels, uh, because uh, living there. So because uh, we 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 need to uh, just re reset or. Uh, uh, and uh, take a little breath because uh, l sitting in this uh, um, algorithm driven world uh, of, of social pornography uh, uh, <laughs> with a minimum of, uh, of uh, uh, attention span, we don't realize that friends are not the guys who are, or, or girls who are uh, liking our Facebook post of our uh, dogs. Just much rather as someone who is taking a, having a beer with us when our doctor is telling us that we have cancer. Yeah, you know, so, uh, yeah. or, or when your wife just left with the gardener. So, <laughs> uh, you know, so, so uh, uh, this this is uh, uh, and and uh, I was trying to create the soundtrack, and I'm very thankful to legendary Greg Lake of Amazon Lincoln Palmer came yeah. up with this idea, and uh, I thank you also. Uh, for this quote that you were quoting uh, of Greg Lake that he was saying is one of the best men in the world. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, what should I say? Uh, when you have Ian Anderson as, as, as the intellectual mm -hmm. mastermind uh, of, the, of the founding generation of rock, prog rock, then yeah, you have to live up to that uh, level. And, uh, and if you have on the guitars, uh, uh, Steve, look at the Mike Stern and Aldi Maola uh, and, and your keyboard players, Corey Henry, uh, and congratulations, Corey Ostroff. In this moment, again and again and again, for new two uh, Grammy nomination. And uh, he's our youngest, and our oldest is Randy Brecker. He has That's right. also two new uh, Grammy nominations. So, right. so we're rocking it. Uh, and and uh, and I'm, 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 so this this is uh, a kind of meaningful action what we're doing here because uh, we have to run against the wall. I got to mention Gabor also, Gabor Supo. Uh, was he a good friend of yours in, in Hungary? Is that? Yeah, I mean, it's more than this. Uh, imagine mm -hmm. that in Hungary we were playing mostly illegal. illegal. So, so uh, when when we, I was actually not I, I don't know, much more Gabor was uh, painting a little hand painted poster three times. The Amazing. Same, put it in the right uh, 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 hidden uh, places in the. Uh, at the university and trans areas, and then we had ten thousand people. Uh, uh, you know, and that's that's what. So, so the I must admit the secret police of the Communist Party was right to mm -hmm. to see us as an enemy because we were. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, so, and uh, and and um, thank you for seeing uh, that I was dangerous for the communist. Uh, <laughs> it's actually I'm proud of that. Yeah, uh, that you should be. <laughs> just, uh, so, thank you for co you know arresting me because it was the proof that that uh, that we were meaning that's is what we do, were doing <laughs> so and gabor became a close friend because he came to our, our illegal concerts and then we got to know each other and and he was a young cartoonist uh, and he was painting that's what you as an american uh living in florida mm -hmm. uh having a syrian jewish father and, and a mother uh, originally from cuba yeah. that you know as rugrats or simpsons mm -hmm. the rugrats. figures were on my drums <laughs> <laughs> so and and uh, as as we escaped communism uh, as your grandma was escaping cuba mm -hmm. um uh, it's a deadly joining you know it's, it's good it because is. easily you can die and uh so we came through a tunnel and uh finally after all this um, an illegal 
back and forth in, in all Europe, we ended up in a refugee camp in uh, Germany. Hmm. And the root settlement officer, who was an American, because the, uh, the camp was controlled by CIA, um, the root settlement officer uh, was asking uh, about, you know, what you guys have on mind here. Uh, so that we understand that you wanted to escape communists, but but what is what is your future? What is your plan? And I said, yeah, well, I would like to play with Ian Anderson of <laughs> Jeff Tal, and I mean, we are talking about 1975. Okay, uh, uh, and Jack Bruce of Cream and Aldi <laughs> Nola, uh, written to Forever. The guy was looking at me. He was from Ohio, second generation Hungarian, like you, second generation mm -hmm. Syrian Cuban, yeah, uh, Cuban. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, you know and i said well it's said, uh, let's see you know what you're talking about i mean ian anderson and jack bruce and ellie Mola, the other the greatest and by the way ian and jack uh, british prog rock and ellie Mola is american jazz rock so mm -hmm. so how does it fit and i said i have a vision I would like to melt together. I just uh, uh, fuse the the solistical brilliance, mm -hmm. the virtuosity of the American jazz rock, of Randy Brecker, Mike Stern, Ali Maula. Right. Was, on the other side of the intellectuality of the prog rock of uh, of King Crimson, uh, Jack Lake, Ramos and Lake Palmer, or, or, or Ian Anderson, uh, Chet Tal, and so on. So this was the vision. And then they are, then the guy asked uh, the CIA guy from Iowa, uh, Gabor, and okay, so the Leslie is crazy, so I, uh, he's out of his mind, okay. But <laughs> what, what do you have in mind? And I said, uh, yeah, well, I would like to go to Hollywood now and, uh, and found their uh, uh, animation studio because I'm a cartoonist and mm -hmm. I have plenty of ideas and I would like to do that. So that's, and we both were trying to do what we were uh, aiming for because my father on his dad was I was 16, as he said, he left uh, because he lost the fight against uh, cancer. He said to me, my son, please promise me that my grandchildren will never uh, read uh, censored papers. And I said, okay, by that, uh, uh, it's wonderful that you're saying this, but uh, there is the Iron Curtain. And he said, it's not for you, my son. Go and uh, live your dreams and don't dream your life. And I said to the resettlement officer, and I said, officer, you know, that's what my father uh, said to me. So I'm here to play with Ian Anderson and LMO, and, and the Gabor is here to 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 uh, start an animation studio in Hollywood. So that's what we both did. Uh, and um, but he was much more successful because he went to America, and I, for God's sake, why uh, I was stuck in Germany. But this is our very first uh, American release, a worldwide similar thing, usually, as I've said. And I'm very proud that uh, finally are, we are there where we actually feel that we belong uh, and that, uh, that you're allowing us to, uh, in with your radio show now to, to be a part of uh, the American life and, uh, and allowing me to the soul and the heart uh, of your listeners. Thank you for that. You know, it's incredible, your story. And so many people need to hear it because of everything you went through. You were persistent. You had perseverance. You followed your dreams, just like your dad said, don't dream your life. Live your dreams. A dreamer is not a fool. And I, I love that, what he says. That is because I'm a big dreamer as well. And you can't give up. You know, don't give up. Follow your dream. And you did it. And this is utopia for realists because yeah. we have, you know, uh, so we shouldn't lose this uh, this power of the create utopia and but but for, for real um, and so and this is this is really important. Beautiful album, um, I love it. Like I said, my favorite is Transylvanian dances. You know, it's twenty six minutes, thirty eight seconds long. It's incredible. You, you know, it's it's one of a kind track. Um, I, it, it, you know, Sessions in the Village, beautiful piano. Who's the girl singing in Sessions in the Village? My daughter. Your daughter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Julia is my daughter. What a beautiful voice. Yeah, wow. she's incredible. She's, I, I, was just, I always say that she's much more talented than the <laughs> Usually that's the case. <laughs> my daughter <laughs> sings too. <laughs> I love, love love her musicality. She's just, she's really good.
It, does she do? Does she have an album out or anything? Or not yet, but uh, uh, but she's working on it, and I help her as much as I can. Sure, so, so she's wonderful. A great talent. <clears throat> You're going to be touring um, November fifth, starting in Germany, correct? Yeah. Uh, what about U.S.? Are you going to come to the U.S.? Uh, we would like to come over to the U.S. and right. Uh, uh, we are really negotiating, and we, uh, because we are, this we are, as I was over now in the, in the U.S. Also, I saw the Miami and the concert hall, and, uh, mm -hmm. so, um, and also with local promoter, we had negotiations, and we would like to come over to the U.S. as soon as we can. Yeah, that's got to be expensive, though, bringing the whole band over, or there's a lot of people. Huh? Yeah, but uh, at the same time, as uh, most of them are Americans, so uh, so they are. Uh, kind of home run yeah. <laughs> so, so uh so far uh, Alan Mola, Corey Henry, Richard Bona, mm -hmm. uh Randy Recker, Bill Lemons, you know. Uh so Dave Finn Thomas, uh, Bobby Kimball, so everybody's American. So uh so I'm you know I heard uh I heard Bobby Kimball's not doing too well. Have you heard that? Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. not only hurt, uh, but, um, but that was very, very, very sad. And um, actually, uh, during the recording sessions, mm -hmm. we knew that uh, that we had, you know, moments where he was very much here with us. Mm -hmm. Moments where he was gone. Really. And then, then, uh, but but we could handle that uh, really well uh, during the sessions with much love. But then um, he was come. He was really, really, very uh, much wanting to come on tour with us, and and, and 2019 autumn, and uh, during the rehearsal we to, for the tour, we feel that it's going to sort of uh, uh, a, a challenging moment to, uh, to, that he locks in, mm -hmm. and um, and then I was talking to I called his uh, doctor in California and. And uh, I said, well, is this going to be maybe the, the best solution not to take him on right. tour or right. due to the, the um, uh, health problems? And then the doctor said, Leslie, if you don't do, take him on tour, then you will take him into a dark cage. Right. Uh, but he may never want to leave again. And uh, so we took him. So I was talking to the band and uh, and uh, we took him. Uh, and and uh, But uh, he had very nice moments on stage but mm -hmm. also lost moments on stage yeah uh, and uh i must admit this was great we knew that is going to be the last moment uh right that uh he was on stage but not with us yeah yeah and then we we the last uh, uh concert we gave him a uh kind of uh we created uh, when we were a jacket for him with a mm -hmm. The number one founding member oh. uh, of Madugi Soulmates, and and, yeah. and we knew that this uh, very sadly um, the health, the conditions are are, are pretty uh, heavy um, and uh, some serious problems. Yeah, I was shocked because I, I had him on my show like maybe two years ago, and we had a wonderful conversation. We talked for over an hour, and you know he was happy, and we you know very sharp. You know, was, yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, uh, he's, he's a lovely uh, person and, and he always much fun, actually. Yes, a lot of uh, fun. Uh, yeah. a, always a little joking, and, and yeah, and, um, so, um, um, you know, he was truly the, the, uh, and, and from like Eli Mola, like Max Stern, like Ian Andrew, like they didn't do like. Mm -hmm. the, was from the very first record on with us and, and what an incredible voice. I mean, he's one of the Great best voice. in the industry. I mean. Yeah. So, um, so this, is a, this is a tragedy, of course. Yeah. Well, I've got, I'm, I'm going to be interviewing Ian not too long from now. Do you want anything you want me to tell him for you? <laughs> uh, he, uh, Ian is very British. So I'll let me know. He's number one, he's a genius. He is. Uh, number two, He's the intellectual and musical leader of the funding generation of mm -hmm. the uh, And uh, number three, uh, I have the very fortunate, very privileged, honorable um, 
way of life that I was playing and producing so many blessed talents. Mm -hmm. No one is so holistically uh, 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 a genius like him. That in every sense of a, of this, he he he's uh, having this holistic vision of our profession, mm -hmm. uh, and um, and I must admit I have a I, I'm very uh, I feel myself ex extraordinary privilege that that um, since thirty years uh, he's always joined recordings and live shows with us uh, as his second home. <laughs> I've interviewed Ian twice. Um, and I've done over a thousand interviews. He's the only guy I get a little nervous with because I know how intelligent he is, you know, and he can he can speak on any subject, you know, so you got to be sharp when you're talking to him. <laughs> yeah, you better wait. Uh, 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 really sharp. And you better have uh, rather three coffees than two before you talk to him. Uh, I mean, he's a genius. I mean, yes, uh, he is. And and uh, and in and, and, and this is. Also emotionally, he's um, you know someone who is who is so stable and so, what a leader. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, let's say the torch belongs to him. I mean, to as yeah. I carry, uh, he he he's he's the light in the dark. Yeah. So and um, without him, I would not be the one who I am. Just as a just a, a great you know, salute and. Uh, and from all of us, I, uh, mm -hmm. you know, as uh, the freakiest jazz player, um, saying he's the greatest, uh, and uh, the craziest rock, uh, <laughs> he's, he's the greatest, and yes, he is. So, so we have just a, a tremendous salute for his yep. his intellectual leadership and his musicality and his focus and his dedication perfect to perfection and and to his holistic view. Uh, of of that uh, of mm -hmm. an education uh, for the, for the people who will be doing this. I saw you spent Thanksgiving with Alda Mioli. Yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. had a wonderful time, and yeah. And next day, I was uh, a day before. I had a great hang with uh, uh, Corey Henry in Los Angeles, and then mm -hmm. uh, the day after a great hang in Miami with uh, Richard Bona. Oh, uh, cool! Then went back to New York City and. Uh, Having some interviews and then had a great thing with uh, Mike Sumner and Randy Brecker and, and mm. Ali Mola. We had a good uh, Italian dinner. So we're just Leslie, you, know, you need a house here, man. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I, I, I'll start. I, I, I'll start looking for you on the yeah, beach. Please, uh, <laughs> because uh, uh, here I'm. Uh, uh, you know, the, I'm living about a mile away from the studio. Uh, I have a wonderful uh, waterfront house, but it's always cold. You know, it's about three weeks in the in the year. You don't need you, to be cold anymore. Uh, you, you don't know, need that. Uh, you have only three weeks in the year that you can go into the water. So, uh, <laughs> so Florida is actually more human. Uh, I must admit. <laughs> but we got and a lot of rockers out here. Yeah. Uh, you know, so and and I, I feel so much American in many ways, and and, uh, and 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 don't forget for you guys, America is so self-explainingly there mm -hmm. uh, as as the flag carrier of freedom, yep. but you should not forget that the whole world is looking at you and say, hey, I'm gonna take you as a, with your biography, with with your blood, mm -hmm. uh, 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 you are a classical American. Uh, uh, you know, so and that's 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 uh, that is the leadership of this country culturally, yeah. uh, because we are all, all some way some are refugees somewhere. We uh, are refugees. We are refugees. All of us. All of yeah. us. And and but you know, the 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 difference between your um, life story and my life story, in one hand side, as a mutual uh, understanding. Mm -hmm that uh, your grandma from Cuba and your father or your grandfather from Syria mm -hmm. and myself from Hungary, we, we were, you know, we wanted to live free. Right. And, 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 uh, and, and we wanted to run against any uh, racism. Uh, we wanted to, uh, uh, you know, for fundamental substantial values, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, and, and to, to, uh, not to follow, but to create our destiny. Sure, 
Sure. And this, that's why, why your grandma uh, left Cuba, you know, and uh, yeah. that's why I left Hungary as it was a communist country, mm -hmm. also for my children that they exactly. can uh, raise. And, and of course, it was a moving moment as as Gabo Chupo's son mm -hmm. and my daughter were calling me. I, I was, I was, I think, in Sweden on tour. Uh, and, and they both call, were calling uh, Gabor in Los Angeles and myself, you know, I, think, I think I was backstage in Stockholm, uh, uh, that hey, daddy, we are on that bridge in Budapest mm -hmm. where you guys decided to escape communism. Uh, and we are also on that bridge and, 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 sure. and just love you that you did it for us. Yeah, and so of course, it's always a, uh, you do it for your kids. And, and exactly. when we talk about this album, uh, this is over in, in, in many ways is, is for my children because mm -hmm. as we were uh, we, only once we played America uh, we, uh, we were invited by the Grammy organization to mm -hmm. the Beacon Theater to play a showcase um, it, we did the Grammy weekend and it was about the, it was 2018 and it was a wonderful moment of life you know several encores and a beacon and standing ovation and and the, the New York media loved it, and mm -hmm. and, um, and then uh, actually I was saying to my kids, actually a perfect moment to stop. <laughs> uh, exactly, uh, <laughs> uh, because what as you can dream of, uh, and um, and then uh, you know the New Yorkers and the Germans and the Hungarians were just talking around, uh, am I uh, American or German or Hungarian? You know, so everybody wanted to claim that I'm. Hungarian or American or mm -hmm. German, so I said, "Oh, what a wonderful feeling for a for a refugee to, to that everybody wants you uh, mm -hmm. to be uh, part of his uh, family uh, nation." And so, and, and then I, I I was going with my kids to LA, and I was uh, renting a house in Topanga, in the old tipi part of LA, uh, as you know, um, and. Um, from a, a good old colleague uh, of my music colleague of mine, so it was, was really a, a very hippie house, and mm -hmm. and uh, for three weeks, uh, my kids and myself we were just talking about the generational justice. Right. Well, let's put this way around about the missing of mm -hmm. generational justice, and and then uh, we were flying home, and I had many other things in the studio to, uh, to take care of, you know, to write this and that, and uh, and then. Uh, I had to leave to China because uh, it's a big thing there and uh, show. And as I was on, on the way to the airport in Beijing, uh, totally tired, you know, just just had a little uh, nap on the, the back seat. My phone was ringing and my son was calling from my studio where I'm here listening. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, Daddy, you know, you, that you know, I have 16 people here, workers, changing a lot of things, even the colors of the wall, and, and also technologically, I'm just making an update and upgrade, and then I changed the doors and, right. and, uh, and fired four of your employees, and I was hiring another four. And, and I said, uh, Son, it's a great joke. Uh, but I'm about 15 minutes away from the Beijing airport in China, and in 12 hours I'm home, and you will explain it to me. <laughs> so never mind, and then, then we'll see. It. We'll take it from there. And then I said, oh, you don't get my uh, point. Uh, I, this is not a plan. I'm just doing it as, as we speak. So this is just happening here. And by the way, you're not coming home. I said, I, 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 I said, what? I said, you know what? Uh, you were telling us in Topanga to my uh, sisters and myself that about this generation of justice. So, so what I was doing, I, I was actually renting for you a beach house in Bali, mm. and uh, I changed your flight, and that's where you're gonna go and really? you write album there. And huh. uh, and and you're not gonna get uh, any emails anymore on your iPhone and your iPad. So just just do your thing and and call me when you're done. Wow. So, that's where I wrote uh, Utope Ferralis. Wow. About the generation justice. Yeah, that's a great story. Huh. Did, let's say, do you have grandchildren? No, 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 no not yet. Not yet? Um, not yet. Uh, but uh, my children said, Dad, you were perfectly right to say uh, the only way to 
go on and on and on and on to creating new and fresh music because you feel and you act like you be mm -hmm. then uh, if you're pushing the leverage up and up and up and that's what uh, i think this is uh we always were trying to do our very best album and but this is this is the best what we ever did because yeah. we just you know we just push uh, the level uh, up and, and you say okay um when, when you are so privileged to to being able to create music great music for a lifetime mm -hmm. and i'm so thankful to our audience uh they, they propel our yeah. uh creativity and i'm so thankful to you guys who are working in the media because uh you are the bridge you are the translator mm -hmm. uh and and uh, especially in times of uh, social media it is so important that this music journalism mm -hmm. uh, what you're doing mm -hmm. uh, is, is alive and kicking and yeah. uh, it's so important because uh i don't want to let's see my, one day when i get grandkids to, uh, to then growing up that they have the suggestion musical suggestion by an algorithm uh <laughs> i would like to have a, a, a proposal by uh, personalities like you or music lovers and music fans exactly and, 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 and you know this is let's keep humanity uh, sure and, and and so this is so important yeah. and i do this for the love of music i don't i don't make money i don't care it music's been my life since you know since i was a kid it's kept me going and that's like like you said music will make peace in the world one day i think you know we we need music around the Absolutely. world music makes yeah. a, a, a better place of uh, it does planet and, and uh, i must admit very unfortunately we need to make a better place of our planet. it's got me through a lot and, and i'm sure it gets a lot of people through a lot of tough times you know absolutely leslie here's your final question i've asked you this before i'm going to do it again since we're on zoom now if you had a field of dreams wish like the movie uh to perform collaborate with anyone from the past or present who would that be actually i would love to rejoin again with uh jack bruce with jack bruce yeah uh, as we did it for this album because we were just using a, a, some outtakes of earlier <clears throat> recordings mm -hmm. so that uh, that we just circle again with ian anderson jack bruce uh, David Payton Thomas and Bobby Kimball with the LD yep. Mole and all the rest of the folks that we, we, it was so sad to say goodbye to Jack and that it was so sad that Bobby is not going to be out on the, right. on, on the road again. With us. <clears throat> so, and it's so painful to, to, to get lost to Greg Lake and, and John Lord. So, if I would have wish, I would like to have the, the original lineup. Uh, the original back, lineup. Uh, yeah. And, 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 and fuse with, with the geniusity of, of Corey Henry, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, let's have a battle, uh, John Lord and Corey Henry, and let's mm -hmm. have a battle, uh, Richard Bona and Jack Bruce, you know, so sure. So that, that would be my wish, yeah. I had Jack on the show the year he passed, he was a very funny guy. <laughs> oh, what a great humor, and oh, the hyper intelligent, it was yeah. not always easy to follow his humor, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> so but i knew him too well so it was easy uh, but, uh, he, was, he was a good guy he was a real good guy uh, genius. i want to say special thanks to chipster pr for arranging this interview with leslie mandoki uh you can purchase utopia utopia for realist it's available now it's the new progressive rock visual album and it's available at it's it's on amazon.com and you can also go to is it www.insideoutshop uh also to your website right you can go directly to your website i guess and buy and buy the album uh, i actually go on amazon or, the, or uh, inside out this is uh, this is the best way to do it okay uh, right to uh, amazon.com uh for more information about Leslie Mandoki and the Mandoki soulmates of course www.mandoki uh soulmates.com uh you are also on facebook as well yeah sure and there's a new album website uh www.utopia realist and uh 
also and you're also on instagram as well yeah sure you you find yeah. us everywhere you're and, everywhere uh, and and uh thank you so much uh to giving us the opportunity uh to allowing us into your life um uh, and into the life of your audience and uh, to listeners and i uh, wish you a wonderful holiday times uh and uh, stay healthy and you too. Uh, we see each other uh very soon when we rock florida yep uh we will rock <laughs> miami and new york city and and the rest of the country and thank you so much we'll look forward to that leslie can't can't wait to see you in the u.s and i'll i'll start looking for a home for you i'll get a real estate agent <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much so let's talk america thank you okay oh, leslie thank you Good night. thank you so much bye-bye bye-bye